Excellent. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another 3D Hangouts. My name is Noel Ruiz. I'm a designer here at Adafruit and joining me every week is Mr. Pedro. What's up everybody? I'm Pedro's Creative Tech here at Adafruit and every week we come to share 3D print projects featuring electronics from Adafruit. That's right. This is a show we combine 3D printing and DIY electronics to make inspirational projects for you folks. Let's jump right into to this week's coupon code. You remember what it was? Odyssey. Odyssey. UC Odyssey. There we go. It's Odyssey. So if you want to get anything in the Adafruit shop, you can you know, use coupon code Odyssey at checkout and it'll get you 10% off. Everything in the shop except for the Adabox subscriptions and those gift certificates. Because that does not make any sense. It yeah. expires at 11.59 p.m. tonight. So make right. sure you take advantage. We got some freebie deals and they have changed. Last month, all of September, we were giving out free Blinka stickers. Those are out of stock now. We've shipped them all out. <laughs> so everybody got those. Thank you for placing your orders in September. Uh, so now we have, we're back to kind of our, our three tiered uh, freebies. For orders that are $99 or more, uh, folks will get a free Permaproto half size breadboard. And for orders that are 200 or more, you get the Permaproto and free ground shipping, continental US only. And for orders that are $2.99 or more, you get the Permaproto, the free shipping, and the free Circuit Playground Express. Huzzah. So check out adafruit.com slash free. You can read up on those. We have some delivery options, same day delivery. Oh yeah, in New York City, of course. In New York City, they do things really fast. And then we have a product, once a week, uh, product focused newsletter. Every week, we manage to get stuff in the store. And every week uh, we, we release a newsletter that has said products. That's nice. We also have another newsletter that happens on the daily, adafruitdaily.com. Check out the different categories. Our latest edition is Make Code, which is an awesome newsletter. So check that out. We're hanging out in the Discord chat room in the live broadcast channel. There we are, we're hanging out. Good morning to everybody. We're hanging out there. And we're also hanging out in the other chats, like YouTubes and the Facebooks. And I think those are the main three, because there's a lot of chats to manage. So we're gonna stick with those three, but we invite you to say hello. Huzzah, hi everybody. We're gonna shout out some folks here. Thomas is hanging out. The Review Suite is also here. And we'll shout you guys out as we get into it. That's right. Yeah. Tori Gar is also hanging out in the Discord, as well as a couple peeps in the Facebook. Good morning, y'all. Thanks for joining. Yeah, we got some fun stuff to share with you. And uh, let's go ahead and jump into the this week's project. This week's project is another monster mask. Woo! Yeah. Which camera should I go? Over? Uh, probably main. Let's do main one. So last week we did. What did we do last week? Was it the Lego head? Yeah. Or the antenna eyes. We call it a blocko brick head now. <laughs> You're not allowed to <laughs> call it a Lego head. That's what they're a, called now. It's a brick head. <laughs> yeah, so when we did the antenna eyes, I forget how it came up. It kind of looked like a cappy. Oh. No, it was the case. So the three printed case yeah. for the uh, monster mask, when you put it on your head to uh, try I to- I strapped it on my hat. To right? your hat. hat. I was like, yeah, hey, yeah. this is like cappy. And, and Mar, Mar was like, Please. You're doing cappy right now. I would, like, like, okay. I would like to request one cappy. So yes. we made a little cappy. This is a big cappy. He's like a, this is great. So um, for the uninitiated, this is from Super Mario Odyssey. Mm -hmm. I think one of the first games that came out on the Nintendo Switch when it first launched. This is cappy. Yeah, with the monster mat. So uh, the, the case is 3D printed mm -hmm. and it's sewn to the top of the hat. And the hat itself is, um, it's actually a licensed Nintendo <laughs> Mario hat. It's really nice. There are some other ones out in the market that are not so nice. This one's really nice because it has like, it's, it holds its shape. It's got it added has a very nice polyester shape to it. and it has an official Nintendo like tag on it, which is kind of nice. So we got a link for you guys. We got it from Amazon and y'all can pick one up too if you want to make a Mario cosplay. We know a lot of kiddos out there like Mario and I think this would be really cool to have on your kiddos. Yeah. Or cells if you are into Mario. Yeah. Yeah, so we've been doing a lot of monsters and like 
ghosts and things like mm -hmm. that Very with the monster stuff. mask. Lots of creepy stuff to, you know, fit the Halloween theme season. Mm -hmm. But of course, there's a lot of kids that also celebrate. So right. of course, let's we go the make... other direction. Do really, really cute, simple stuff. Yeah. So this really shows how uh, you, you don't need to have like these super detailed uh, textures and bitmaps. Mm -hmm. You can just do solid colors like we like how we did here. So we, we modified it so or the, the config file, right? So mm -hmm. that it doesn't need uh, bitmaps, it's just solid colors and we made different sizes for the eyes. So they're a little bit bigger than what you would see. Yeah, so when this was released, uh, Phil Burgestu, creator of the Monster Mask and all yes. the lovely code that is right on it, uh, actually was, uh, uh, Lamar actually requested some anime eyes. So there's a lot more cute yeah. sort of eyes if you want to go with that approach. You definitely check out the learn guide and the GitHub to see all those new anime eyes. Mm -hmm. If you want to make something <laughs> cute, go the opposite way that like you're saying. Yeah. So we go over to the overhead. You can take a look. Super simple uh, little design for him. He has the red uh, outer part of the eye and this huge pupils. Yeah. So yeah, the iris changes along with the, um, the size. I mean, the pupils change with the iris size. Mm -hmm. You can't directly change the pupil size, but they just kind of go with it because the pupils are actually um, breathing in and out. The, the iris mm -hmm. is changing because it kind of gives that illusion of light changing. Yeah. And there is a light sensor on there. Um, but, I did uh, not we'll expose be able to play it. with it. Yeah, yeah that's fine. I, it, it, I don't think you really needed it for this project, um, but we'll take a look at the learn guide and mm -hmm. see if that's a, something we can play with as an option. Yeah, so you can kind of see where the glue was, where we yeah. removed the original eyes that came with this. So that's kind of the only hard part about this is uh, sort of, you know, destroying, quote unquote, <laughs> your... Uh, well, we say take your time. Um, yeah. you, it, is, it is hot glued there, I think. Mm -hmm. um, so we used a little ceramic uh, blade to cut, to slice through the glue. Yeah, you can kind of see how it's covering that there. To get access to all the ports and the USB, all the buttons and the the uh, stemma connectors, uh, you can just bend the hat back to have access to that at the top mm -hmm. and the, the bottom there. You have all your accessories, all your ports on there, so you can turn that on and off. You still have the USB, so you can charge the battery that's on there. And then this is all being held together with some stitches to it, but I recommend, like we said before, getting this hat. The first hat that we tried before, it had a, didn't have any padding, so we just flop continuously trying to shape it when you're wearing it. One size fits all. Um, it fits on so, the kiddo's yeah. head and it fits on your head. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one size fits all. <laughs> one size fits most. <laughs> oh, okay. It says actually. <laughs> okay. A uh, little bit of wording. Yeah. All right. Do you want to jump in the learn guide or? Uh, quickly show off oh, yeah, sure. the case. So, super simple design for that. All it is, uh, we took the SVGs for what Cappy looks like and we uh, extruded those to fit the hat and then the actual PCBs too. The PCBs did have to be split uh, just so we right. could bring them together. Uh, the past projects we had to split them apart so we can you know, pull them apart or uh, you know, have them re like rotated so That's we can right. have in a different orientation. For this project, we actually just needed to bring them back or bring them closer together so it would fit the way that the, uh, his eyes are in the design for Gappy. Yeah. It's about uh, as close as you can get them. Yeah, so we are, this isn't dual extruded, it's uh, two pieces that just super glued right on top to give it the uh, you know, characteristic of the iris. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the board is mounted with some M3 nylon screws on there. Cool. Uh, one of the cool things that we wanted to do for this project, because we were consistently out of stock of the lenses, and because some of the viewing angles for these, uh, it actually distorts the eyes and doesn't actually allow you to see them. We had to make sure that we did not need any of the lenses for that. So uh, we uh, made sure that the sizing for this is such so you're completely covering up the square screens on mm -hmm. that and all you can see is just the iris. Yep. And a little bit of the white. Oh, and the white. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's color. And yeah, let's go ahead and jump into the learn guide for this. Cool. Although Head it on. is simple, I w this is not a last-minute Halloween project. <laughs> yeah, it since takes... the, the case does take quite a while to print out, yeah, like four <clears> about hours four hours, yeah. and then the construction is you want to be careful. So it is going to take about an hour to okay. probably set everything up. Yeah, so it's a day build. But uh, about a half a day build. Half a build if yeah. you, uh, day build. 
if you print stuff beforehand. Yeah. Cool. All right. So the guide covers um, what the project is. Mm -hmm. A little overview of it. Mask. Yeah. We um, want you to set up your monster mask with using the quick start guide links. That way you have all the things set up. And then we have our links here to the hat, the nine pin cable, and the 420 uh, battery. We, did I put both batteries? No. Okay. Well, you can use a 500 milliamp battery if you like. Get that a little bit more. Um, I think it gives you about three hours with the 420, or probably give you about two and a half hours. Um, so consider that. But if you got the Ada box, most likely you got the 420 milliamp battery, which is why we have it here. Mm -hmm. Cool. I like yeah, this we cable. Just ran out. Yeah. Really nice USB cable, data cable, not a charging cable. You can charge with it, but it's mainly for data. Here's that nine pin JC cable. And we also have this little tool here. This is our recommended. Um, hobby knife. Hobby knife. It's got a ceramic blade. I've been using this on a ton of projects from 3D printing, overhang removal to cleaning up like all the hairs around, mm -hmm. objects to cutting Why cardboard. Why do you like it more than regular exacto steel blade? Because uh, I've slipped a couple times and it did not cut me. Huh. Okay. <laughs> that and uh, it's a little bit stronger and lasts a little long, hmm. a little while longer hmm. than ceramic, the huh? uh, steel blades. Wow. Cool. And here's kiddo. Oh yeah, that's quite what happy. it looks like. So it, mm -hmm. it, it definitely fits all sizes. Yeah, he's six. <laughs> yeah, his big eyes. <laughs> Moving on to the eye configuration, here's the settings that you're gonna want to use if you want to create the cappy eyes. Yeah, so uh, once you got your master mask set up, um, you plug it in via USB, it's gonna show up as a USB drive. The USB drive is titled CircuitPy. When you open it up, you'll see that there's a config file. It's called config.i, right? And if you open that up in your text editor of choice, you can see all the different JSON parameters. So here you see I got my iris set up to 125. I got a white color for the eye index. My pupil color is black. My, black, my uh, back color, which is like behind the sclera, is like, I believe that's white because it looks like an RGB value. Iris color is just red, and then the iris radius is 120. I guess you can change. Oh yeah, the eye and the radius. You can, you can adjust those independently. The sclera color is set to white, and I left the rotate at one and one because I don't think I needed it. Yeah. And that's really it. There's way more options that you can play with. Um, for those, definitely check out the actual quick start guide, and that'll show you all the different parameters that you can do, including really fun stuff like split irises for making dragons and things. Yeah, that's so cool. That's really cool. And you can rotate the eyes, of course, as well. Sweet. So that's uh, really quick how you can uh, uh, change the parameters um, in a text editor. And then once you hit the save button, um, you just hit the reset button that's on board the, uh, the monster mask and it'll refresh all the graphics and stuff. And, and there you go. Copy. Very cool. There's also a really, uh, there's also a cool like, um, uh, buttons. There's buttons on the thing, right? And uh, I don't have it set up here, but you can have it so that you can use the buttons to change the uh, the style of the eye. So you can have multiple configs yeah. and swap and kind of switch between them using the buttons. That's all covered in the guide as well. So check it out. And right. a really cool thing to do would be to sort of break that button out. Maybe have it near the lid oh, so you can right. you swap one through that. Because right. I believe in the game. Um, does he go through different stages or no? Right. I mean, he does, or... he, he, his actual hat changes, but his mm. eyes, I think, remain the same. I guess if you like set it up to like a sound effect or something, like have it bounce, but then you could just do that mm. with the, uh, when we have code for the accelerometer yeah, on there. I think it's more of like you wanted to reuse your pair of eyes on a different costume uh, yeah, on a yeah, different yeah. day or something. That's, that could be useful. Moving okay. on to 3D printing, this was uh, before pretty simple outline to create the case for this. And this should, in, you know, hopefully it inspires the people that you can uh, completely make these eyes into your own if you can just uh, have a, a different case for it. Yeah. Exactly. So moving on to 3D printing there, you can see the settings that we use in the two printed parts. You're gonna need the CAD files, of course, available. You can get the Fusion 360 files. So you can go through the history and adjust any of the parameters or just grab the outlines or the components because the Monster Mask PCB is all inside there. You yeah. can use that to, um, it's the split version. Yeah. We have both. Uh, so you can sit there and 
arrange how the components are gonna look like or make sure that you have clearances for any of your uh, custom cases. Cool. And if you just wanna print the STLs, those are available as well. Mm-hmm, there we go. Some simple settings, nothing too crazy here. The only thing I added was just a brim so I didn't have any lifting on the edges there. Okay. And you shouldn't need any supports. The uh, yeah, little the tabs sew tabs. Pretty cool. Yeah, they, just have, look at them? yeah they just have like a, a draft on them, like a, what was it, 20, 30 degree draft on these that. guys. They print completely in the air. If it focuses, there you go. You need a background. There we go. A silly camera. There you go. As, as we said before, uh, super glue to attach the white portion right on top of there. Yep. And if you want a, a surface finish that looks like a shiny mirror finish, we're using a um, PEI, or is it PEX? Which one is it? Uh, PEX for that one. So PEX. glass, PEX. Uh, probably should have done it with the powder coated though, because mm, I'm that would look not really liking the shininess on it. <laughs> All right, so you got options um, for your bed, or if you want something more leathery and matte, go with blue tape or something of that, or mm -hmm. a build tack, that'll give you a nice matte finish. Glass also gives you a mirror finish too, yeah. where it's shiny. But depends on what you're looking to, uh, what kind of surface finish you want, that's what we got. Yep, and we're just using PLA for both of the material colors there. Yeah. All right, let's head on over to the assembly of it. Pretty straightforward. Uh, to split the mask, the mask is designed to be split. There are these perforated holes that are uh, in between the little nose bridge area. So you can just cut those using these uh, flush diagonal cutters that I should definitely link because <laughs> we saw them. Um, let's see, I think it's in the, oh, I thought I added them in. I'll add them in now. <laughs> if you type in, uh, I guess just flush. There's it is, flush diagonal cutters. These are really great cutters. They're from Hacko. So check them out. Are they from Hacko? Maybe. Check them out. Yeah, yeah. They're like seven bucks. Not too bad. They they do a lot of stuff. I'm not using the cut my hangnails. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, where am I? 3D printing? No. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's what we use. The, the quick little review of splitting those in uh, half. So just as that you're, I'm cutting each corner of the just so we can mm -hmm. easily get to the center the perforation on there. Yeah. Of course, you want to do this in a well-ventilated area so you don't breathe any of the dust that's going to fly everywhere when you yeah. cut it. Wear a dust mask if you have one. And do it like, uh, again, probably outside or something with yeah. a fan blowing the opposite way. Yeah, or the <laughs> fume extractor if you got one. Yeah. That will, that will suck it up into that little filter. Mm -hmm. so We're using the 9-pin uh, JSTSH. Yep, JSTSH. That's the connect. special cable here. Yep, no need to extend it because uh, we're bringing it closer together, mm -hmm. as you can see. So it just kind of wraps like that when you bring it closer yeah. together. Yeah, when you bring it together, you want to carefully coil those up so it goes to one side of the board, whichever side the cable wants to go to. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we're going to mount these with a couple of M3 by 5 millimeter long nylon screws. We have a kit of these available in the store. I don't know if we link those as well. No, <laughs> we'll <laughs> link those as well after. And, and then, the glue. Oh gosh, we got a lot of things to link. Yeah. It's fine. Most of the products are, you know, in there. Okay. And then we're going to use the uh, piece of foam tape to adhere the battery to the back of the board. Okay. Oh, I'm in edit mode. Sorry. Let me get out of here. Uh, not in this order. I would probably glue the little whites onto the eyes. It's just the way that I did it for the, for the oh, uh, project. Okay, yeah. to I'd avoid getting the screen glue. Just <laughs> in case there's like hazing or anything that happens from the glue. Yeah. It's nice, this shows you where uh, the mounting holes. Um, yeah, it's a little difficult to see the black nylon screws. Yeah. Uh, okay. If you have any tolerance differences with your printer, you probably want to use like a metal uh, to create the uh, threads. screwdriver yeah. to create the threads, or if you have a tapping tool, you can do you that. Use that. Okay. Uh, we talk about the glue. It's just mm -hmm. your standard medium dry uh, star bond glue. One of our favorite glues, just because it has that awesome nice. little silicone tip to give you a precise application, little little nozzle thingy there. Mm -hmm. Fine precision tip. Yeah. <laughs> cool. All right. So if the prep the hat, you're gonna have to do a little bit of surgery. You're gonna have to yeah. do some eye surgery here. I had to Sorry, hide Cappy. this away from my kid because yeah. he would have cried yeah. for me ripping apart Real quick his though, eyes. <laughs> um, there, there was another hat that we got that was more of a knockoff mm -hmm. and it, 
it, it was held on by like two pieces of thread a lot more easier to take apart but it was yeah. not moldable it just flopped right over Do you look at the difference between them it's not too bad um yeah, we don't link to that, that one. Oh, yeah. yeah. And it's so funny, too. It was only like a dollar difference. Yeah, this is a dollar for difference. A very nicely shaped. That's licensed you know, from Nintendo. Licensed. The other this. one's like super thin. Like, yeah, it had no padding at all. It wouldn't hold its shape and mm -hmm. it was crumpled up. It had a lot of, yeah. uh, a lot of wrinkles in so, the fabric and it was very thin fabric. So definitely spend a dollar more <laughs> yeah. for this really nicely shaped hat. Yeah. It's got a great shape and good stitching. Mm -hmm. So uh, there's a little thing there uh, it's gonna take quite a while if you want to be careful not to rip any of the fabric that's on the hat so mm -hmm. went through and just slowly peeled off the signs and then using the ceramic blade hobby knife went in there and just cut uh, right in the middle of the hot glue that they use just to snip that off and then we have uh, I think after about like 15 minutes of sitting there carefully <laughs> slicing through and peeling off uh, you'll be left with a hat it has the outlines of the eyes, uh, which actually helps to position the enclosure. Sure. So place it on there. You want to make sure you have it the correct side with the um, little smaller parts closer to the lid. I actually sewed this on upside, upside down. down the first time. Mm -hmm. That's the first thing I told you. I was like, great. Right. It's not too it's bad having to re-sew it. Um, yeah. So uh, lesson well learned there on uh, making sure your orientations are always right. Right. And we're using a running stitch to connect this. So I'm just tying one end of the thread and then looping it through. So you are attaching the tops, the sides, and then the bottom part of the, uh, the little sew tabs. Mm -hmm. yep. You see there in the close-ups there. And then we're just gonna uh, finish it up with a uh, tying the knot at the end there just to keep it uh, nice and attached. There you go, nice and taut. Taut. Taut, taut. That's pretty much it. Woohoo! Have yourself a very mm -hmm. awesome little yeah. cappy. Mm -hmm. Mustache that. not included. <laughs> the mustache yeah. was included with the bobo hat, which is hilarious. Yeah, I know. <laughs> like a set of them. That's so funny. Yeah. It's like, that's what you get for the extra dollar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what's so cool about this is that there's always code being released on the, like, daily pretty much with, uh, you know, Adabox being out. So, uh, Think that you could probably get some of the googly eye code on there so when he's jumping you oh, can see cool. it going up and down uh you actually disabled the blinking on it if you want to that's correct i didn't even mention that yeah so um if you want to experiment with that yeah it, it blinking is as easy as just deleting the parameters it's saying hey these are the the blinking bitmaps mm -hmm. it's using like these bitmap one bit bitmaps uh, to create sort of an alpha channel, but we don't need it for this project. So we got rid of the blinking. So if you have a character, you have a project that needs eyes, but they don't need to blink, that's very simple to uh, disable the blinking. So that's what we got. Sweet. Yeah, just want to be aware of the, the shininess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, again, the recommend pl printing good. it on uh, powder coated or blue tape. So yeah. It doesn't make it as shiny. It was definitely hard to bounce the light off when we were filming. <laughs> yeah, right there. All right, so that is this week's project. Again, not recommended as a last minute project as mm -hmm. it takes quite a bit to print and to assemble the hat. If you guys want to pick up anything in the shop, like the printers or the filament, use coupon code ODYSSEY to yes. save 10% like off. Help support the show and the fine makers that all work at Adafruit. Okay. Go ahead and jump into this week's What Are We Prototyping? What? Are we ready? I think so. That was quick. It's um, a quick project. Okay. Which one should we, should uh, we show? The Monster the Mask update? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Monster okay. Mask update. So uh, if you guys got yourself the Monster Mask, um, definitely update your UF2, which is the firmware. And there is now the voice changer code is now integrated in so you can change your voice along with these animated eyes. Let's see if this works. Should I go up or down? <laughs> you can hear a little bit of the static, but that's what it is. Hello. Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, yeah, you could connect this up to an amplifier and have a much louder sound. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's go low. You can use the buttons to change the pitch. Hello there. Hello, 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 hello. Hello there. 
So I definitely want to add an amp. But if you want to play around with it now, um, you can just connect this um, PDM microphone into the little uh, PDM input there. I guess it's a JSTSH connector. And uh, that's pretty much it. Just wanted to demo it to you guys. It is now a part of the UF2, and it's really uh, easy to turn it on and off. You, you literally say voice, true or false. <laughs> um, so there you go. Let's cool. go up. One of the cool projects that is featuring it is the Velociraptor project Excellent. from John. Yeah, and, and you then, can do a Dalek voice too by changing the, yeah. uh, the waveform. So you can add a, shine, a sine waveform and then uh, change the, add a, a frequency as well so you can have it do some LFO-ish type stuff. Hmm. Just kind of neat. I don't have that set up, but you, you literally just tell it and you, you assign it. You say waveform, you know, colon. You have up to three, I think. Try with a triangle, a sawtooth, and a, a sine wave, or none, if you don't want one. So there you go. So now you can have your eye code and your voice cake. Eat it, too. Eat it <laughs> with your cake. And you can still boop. Boop. Whoa, look at that. Boopy. All right, excellent. Moving on. OK, I said moving on. <laughs> So you can find uh, yeah. the code so for that, that in the Monster Mask Learn Guide. Uh, the Learn Guide yeah. for that, the main Learn yeah. Guide. So just download the UF2 and, and drag and drop it onto your, onto your Monster Mask when it shows up in the, as a USB drive. Yeah. We got another of, update. All of the Monster Mask guides link back to the main one, so you'll find it that way. Remember this guy. We got the Halloween M4 with an updated UF2 file that y'all can play with now. I'm going to turn it on. This one is actually from John Sampson. I wanted to update. I wanted to play I wanted to test out his code, and uh, he wrote this really nice, um, this really nice kind of heartbeat animation wow. that uses the side LEDs there. So now you can uh, add NeoPixel animations along with your eye code. Really, really useful stuff there. So uh, this is John Sampson's code. Um, I can pop you guys a link if you want it. You could check out the um, the contributors too on the uh, the Learn Guide repo if you want to get that code. And I guess I'll show you the candy bowl, which shows the kind of default. Um, so when you look at the product page, you notice there's like a rainbow animation going on. So I added that to this guy here. Let's see if I can turn it on. You can get a look at the just how nice the rainbow looks. So there's our eye with the. Same Halloween, right? Halloween M4. It's got the side lit NeoPixels, but instead of doing the heartbeat NeoPixel animation, it's doing the strand test rainbow cycle animation, which I kind of like it here. But I just wanted to show you both that uh, the animation is still really, really smooth. And it just shows you how you can uh, have NeoPixel animations going on with your animated eyes. Very cool. You got different options out there. So I really like this heartbeat one. It's so cool. Kind of switches between those three colors. Awesome work, John. And then uh, you can actually download this UF2 right now. I added it to our learn guide. So if you go over here, we'll switch over to the web screen. All right, so this is the Adafruit Halloween M0 learn guide. I have it linked in the description. And I added this part here, animated eyes with NeoPixels. This UF2 features the eye animation with rainbow NeoPixel animation. It's similar to the code that's in the product page. So you see that product page there? Not quite the same, but you know, a little bit more smoothed. So there you go. So now you have some extra UF2s to play with. What I really like about the UF2 is there's no Arduino to upload or get errors from. You just drop the file and it does its magic. Really, really nice. UF2 is an amazing, amazing thing. <laughs> Excellent. And you'll find that in the downloads section of the Adafruit Halloween M4 guide. So if you guys want to play with that, please do. Yep. You could also uh, build from source as well. Uh, you can build uh, the code from source. You want to add your own NeoPixel animations. Um, you can build it from the source and uh, add your own NeoPixel animations. Here's the GitHub project here. I think I could just click on that, right? Yeah, it'll take me right to it. So here you go. You basically you add all your stuff into the user.cpp file. This is where you can add all your animation code and stuff. Very neat. So check it out. 
That's, uh, is that what we're working on? Well, not really. Those are, no, those are kind of updates. We got more. Another thing is uh, the cauldron, right? Yeah. I think next week's project. Yeah. So we, we 3D printed Bugman's cauldron, which is really nice. Uh, and then Phil PT uh, said, why don't you guys make one specifically for the circuit playground that like mounts it? So we designed this little guy here. I have our little Adafruit logo there. And uh, it's got a little USB hole there. You can see that there's a, bot a battery at the bottom and it actually twists. Uh-oh, I got my battery stuck there. The little connector guy, there we go. So this has a little twisty, comes out. You have this little snap fit um, bottom here. So the idea is to put a, a, a tray full of warm water with some dry ice and then your circuit playground um, is protected because it's behind the cover. I have a battery down there. This is actually the uh, Blue Fruit Bluetooth Circuit Playground Express. And uh, I have the linear interpolation, or is it nonlinear interpolation code that fades uh, between different colors. So I have these three different colors going on purple, orange, and there's another one green. Yeah. So this is just a quick mini project. It doesn't have to be battery operated, you could have it plugged in. Um, through USB. Um, but it just looks so cool when you're holding it and there's a bunch of yeah, fog nice. coming out yeah. of it. So it'll be like a nice little um, project, a little 3D printed project, a little 3D printed cauldron for your circuit playground. It doesn't have to be the blue fruit, it can be the classic one as well. I mean the express mm. one. Yeah. So it's in there. It's not coming out. It's nice and there you go. And you have these little handles. It's like a jarrito. Very cool. So that's uh, what I'm working on. I think this will be next week, all right? Yeah. Next week's project. Um, no supports, just a little bit of super glue to attach the feet, not the feet, but the bottom piece to this mount that has a thread here. This has threads and uh, this snap fits there. And I printed it in clear, translucent PLA to give it that diffusion. And of course it protects any water that might spill down here. So it won't, it won't actually get down to, uh, to the circuit playground if any water spills in there, which I don't think it will, but very cool. And shout out to Bugman for the, for the awesome kind of concept idea. I, I thought I'd put the Adafruit logo there. Yeah, there were so many questions about how we uh, got the fog and all that in there. So. Yeah, they thought, cause some folks were like, is it powder or like, what did you no, do? No, so, so the we'll, guide will cover all that. Yeah, we need to go get some slime as well. We're gonna add some slime to it, that sort of stuff. <laughs> All right, moving on to this week's community makes. Yeah, let's do that. There we go. There it is. Continuing on with our Halloween theme, thought I'd make this really cool Cubone. It's because yep. it's a skull. <laughs> so there's been a bunch of these really cool uh, models posted on Thingiverse. Uh, this one has like the, the whole, it's like cut in half, so it's easy to print. And then they added these um, little standoffs so you can screw two, the both halves together. Yep. Uh, I sh what I should have though was make, made it like a lot more bigger so I could actually wear it. Mm. Yeah, but our dog just... doesn't like it. <laughs> he didn't want to wear it. <laughs> so this is definitely going to be a cool Halloween prop for the lawn since it looks totally. so cool. Totally, totally. Go ahead and jump over to the overhead. Here's what it looks like. I think this is like 310%. Oh man, the sun just came out. Yeah, I'll it's fix completely that for you. blown out. I'll fix it. There you go. How's that? There go, yeah. So we're just using regular white uh, PLA that we have in the shop. And uh, the trick for this one was to, to make sure it wasn't so heavy is just use like a 6% gyroid infill for this guy. It's still huge. It takes like 24 hours or something to print. It was like 18 for each side or whatever okay, it says in there. Yeah, or 15, yeah. something like that. Did you have to scale it or did you print it yeah, as Yeah, 310% oh, wow. scale on this one. And on the, uh, uh, the CR10S Pro, you actually could have made it like 150, I think, or 350%. So oh, I'm going to do that next time. Mm -hmm. And then the way that I'm lighting up the the entire skull is with the CPX Blue Fruit. Yeah, talked this about is this great. last week. Uh, you released the uh, the snap fit mount. Exactly. Yeah. 
so we can do things like this. Like we need to light this up. Well, this mm -hmm. is the best way to do it. That What's really cool so is this is running confusing. the color picker demo code that's written in Circuit Python. So we have yeah. the Blue Fruit library, the Bluetooth library for Circuit Playground now, and it's uh, just running the uh, the color picker uh, demo code so <laughs> that we can use the iOS app. We have an iOS app, also Android, mm -hmm. and it allows you to send color packets, and then the, the Blue Fruit will uh, just do it. Uh, you actually have a sketch that will send like animation stuff too, right? Yeah, I think so. Yep. So that's a very uh, easy way to have a wireless control of changing colors yeah. on any props. Yeah, no need to uh, open up the text file and mm -hmm. modify the, the yeah. RGB. You just do it on your phone or whatever device. Yeah. Very cool. So we talked about this last week. We did a layer by layer on it. I just posted the link in all Sweet. the chat. So definitely check it out if you need a simple way to hold a CPX with a LiPo battery on the back. Mm -hmm. you it's need got to mounting nice tabs if you want to attach it to something else. You can mm -hmm. do that. We need to print a couple more of these because that one's permanently going to stay there because uh, it's a great little... A nice way to test diffusion yeah. on uh, mm -hmm. different projects. We took it to, uh, we took it to Epcot, was it? Mm -hmm. And then we were in there just like putting it in different... Um, what diffuses is nice. Yeah, what diffuses <laughs> is nice. Because you know how they have like those candle holder things. Yeah. You just put it in there. It's great. Bring it with you to uh, the Halloween shop. and Yeah. So if you're like. in the need for a super cute QB... Uh, yeah, Cubone. Skull, Cubone, Skull. Yep. This is actually a out. remix. Um, so Thingiverse cool. user Ugly uh, posted up the, the split skull of it, I suppose. It's a remix of the original over here. Mm -hmm. Pokemon Skull, that's what they call it. So there you go. Check it out. So check it out if you want to print it. Use and this split. as a line ornament. Yeah. So the original one is not split, and what? They printed it with support? You know what? I don't know. Oh, wow. That one looks more like a real one. Yeah. That's pretty neat. All the scars and stuff that everyone makes. A lot of people made it. Yeah, pretty popular. Super cool. You like the uh, design shape and the little horns on it. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of folks are printing this one. Look at that sanding job. Oof, it's nice. <laughs> Very cool. So if you want to make a Cubone, finish your Cubone cosplay. I put it on a thing. Super cool. cool. Very cool. Excellent. And that's week's that's this week's community makes. Mm. All right. Cool. I think we've I shared everything. I think that's it for this show. Yeah. Cool. We got everything. Over to, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Um, let me check the notes. Did we miss yeah, anything? I just checked it out. That's oh, yeah. it. Okay. Well, one last thing I want to share is definitely check out Philby's latest guide on spruce up costume with monster mask, eyes, and voice. This is a really nice guide. Uh, definitely walk through it as it has a lot of helpful tips on folks uh, that might be new to building stuff. It kind of covers some things to consider when you're choosing a mask, um, some things to look out for. Um, yeah, just things to consider. Price, is it affordable? Can the mask fit here? Is it rigid? It's better off that it's rigid. Will you be able to see through yeah. the mask? Something like the werewolf, it looks really cool, but wouldn't work as well. Something mm -hmm. like this goat mask works really well because you can see through his little eyes. Like it's designed so that you can see through the nose thing instead of mm -hmm. the, uh, the actual eyes because then you'd block your vision. That's this really one cool was a runner up, he said. Um, that would be nice. Oh, another thing is that this has an open back, so you're going to stay cool. So things yeah, I didn't even think about, like yeah. uh, comfort mm -hmm. and uh, heat. <laughs> mm -hmm. So he, that's, he just kind of covers it up with something there. And then some ways to use the foam craft to actually build mounts yes. for the... Uh... This is a really good one here, fitting the eyes here. So he walks through. Um, oh, yeah, uh, splitting the cable, too, if you want to get some more distance. And I then, would uh, use the ribbon, the silicone ribbon oh, cable. Oh, right. Pedro that. would recommend the, the ribbon, yeah, silicone ribbon that. cable, because then you're not having to kind of do the onesie, twosie uh, dance. Yeah. You just have one you're nice bundle that was all bundled. nice. Yeah. And always remember your heat shrink. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, here's the foam. This is a really nice way to kind of secure it. You kind of make a custom fitting for the screen to pop out of. Mm -hmm. It'd take forever with 3D printing to get the, the components is just right. You can just yeah. draw and cut it with this foam. It works really well. Especially when there's differences in the way that the, uh, the, the, monitor, the displays exactly. are mounted. Because every display is mounted slightly differently. So it was impossible for us to get a perfect fit every mm -hmm. time. 
So there we go. And then here's that extra fabric here that's kind of sandwiched and layered to create this that's going to fill up that whole eye. So just read through it. it is, Philby's like, I don't, I don't do right. I, like, I'm not a good writer. Yes, you are. <laughs> You're the best writer. So, uh, and then that's where you fit the battery. So very, very awesome. And then uh, some tips here on how to get the cabling and all that in there without kind of going on the outside. Sweet. Yeah. Read it. Yeah. Just like go to, go to thrift yeah. stores. Yeah, come on. There's so much great stuff at thrift stores. So lots of stuff like that. Give it a read. Get your coffee and it's like you snuggle up with the book, snuggle, snuggle up with one of Philby's guides. Yeah, the deadline has started right now, so yeah, it's, it's a good that. tip about. Do you want to be? Where does he say like it's like if Halloween's supposed to be about fun, not not Stress uh, stressing and, oh, and no, all this crap. I'm not like, oh no, I'm it. too late. Where so, does he say it? I want to read it word for word because it's really good. Start early. The true spirit of Halloween is to start sooner rather than later. Mm -hmm. That's the true spirit of Halloween. <laughs> I know. I hate to break it, but you should have started last month. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Halloween should be fun. There's candy and monsters. Last minute building leads to stress, disappointment, and dropped projects. That almost sounds like a Yoda telling you. It leads to anger. Yeah. Anger leads to suffering. <laughs> you either do or you do yeah. it for next year. Yeah, give your time, to, your, yourself time to think through the difficulties of the, of the build. Have a plan B, have a plan C when things are going as planned. Even D. Yeah. I also kind of want to voice like Elon. I was like, if, you're, if your process is taking too long, change your process. Like, yeah. you kind of get this thing done. <laughs> so uh, there you go. <laughs> Look at this. Give, think about glue. It takes a day to, to, to dry mm -hmm. with the 6000 Yeah. Right? You want to do things slow. You don't want to cut your hands off or something if you're, if you're yep. cutting something. You don't want to be rushing stuff. So there you go. Just read through it. It's, it's brilliant. It's mm -hmm. really things I know already, but it's like, yes, I'm glad somebody yeah. packed it all into this nice guide. Yeah, put it into uh, nice words. Yeah. Very cool. All right, I think that's exa I'm exhausted. <laughs> Don't forget, we have a, uh, the, the Halloween mask CAD files in oh, both yeah. split and uh, non-split, yep. so you can do some crazy 3D stuff if you'd like. Um, but you don't have to, as you've seen. You can just cut some foam, too. We got it all covered for you. So don't forget, coupon code this week is Odyssey for us. We're going to have another coupon code later tonight. Yeah. We're the return of Ask an Engineer. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be on the show and tell. We invite you to come on. Even if you don't have any projects, we'd like to see progress, retro track, all that sort of stuff. Even if you're just planning to start a project, definitely yeah, want to cool. see that. Maybe give you some tips and pointers. You might even win a free, some free components. That's Lamar right. and Phil are known for jump-starting you know, projects that that's way. Right. Yep. Especially if you have a really passionate about it, have a nice blueprint of what you're going to do. And if your project's amazing and Lamar just can't contain herself, and she wants that in her learn guide, we she will, will you. We want you ask you to be a, a contributor. Be we want you <laughs> to write <laughs> guides for Adafruit. So you can, just come on the show and tell and share what you got. Yeah. It's really then, cool. Right after that, we got a whole hour of Ask an Engineer. We tune in for that, Lamar and Phil, talking about all the cool new stuff coming out, new products, and of course, all the news in the maker world. Yep. yep. And then tomorrow, another combined code and some awesome projects that John Park's working on. We tune in every single week. Thursdays, 4 p.m. ET for John Parks Workshop. That's right. It's gonna be, we're already working on the next Ada Box, so you definitely don't want to miss out on that. Sign up for that on adabox.com, I believe it is. Do we have that, really? Yeah, adabox.com. Oh, cool. Sign up. There you go. We have a Christmas one, I think. Or holiday one, I guess we should what call it. What will it be? I don't know. There's a couple products that have been announced that aren't out yet. I actually don't know what it's going to be. Contentants for the next Ada box, so definitely sign up before yeah, we run is. out of spaces. Yep. Sweet. All right, well, that's going to be it for the show. Don't forget the coupon code is Odyssey. Check it out. Hmm. That's it? Yeah, I'm like looking around like, what is No, that? that's it. OK. Cool. Remember everybody to make. A great day! Yeah. See you next week, or oh, actually later tonight. Yeah, later tonight. Bye, folks. See ya. Bye.